morning. God bless you. That didn't help. I was trying to make it so there wouldn't be a glare in Our Lady, but there might just be a glare. The Blessed Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows. You're going to pray the Rosary and the Chaplet of Our Lady of Sorrows. So you have just a minute to get your coffee. You can't post. You, we've restricted your ability to share with groups. Oh, Facebook doesn't like me. Well, if somebody out there could share with the Blessed Mother group, I really like that. Because if nothing else, I'm supposed to be in the Blessed Mother Mary group. Let's see here. Oh, Facebook. What shall we do with you? I'm going to try to share it from another page. Oh, well. If you're part of my sister Teresa's Blessed Mother Mary group, will you please share it with them? Because I technically started this rosary because of them. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna try it one more way and then we're just gonna start. We're gonna sing to Our Lady. for the weary here. Okay. Oh, well, Fiat. If any of you are part of the, um, the Blessed Mother Mary group, can you please share it? So we're going to pray for the conversion of Russia and the triumph of the Immaculate Heart on this Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows. And we are also going to pray for priests because we always do that on Thursdays. So we're going to pray for all of the special priests that we always pray for. And um, we're going to pray for peace in the world, for peace in our hearts and our homes. And all that we do, we're going to pray for all of the needs. I really, Facebook won't let me do anything, so... Um, all of the needs of the pages that we're on and that those that Facebook blocked us from being part of this morning. Um, we pray for our work in the Middle East and for the $4,000 we need for Afghanistan. And before we start with our morning offering, we're gonna pray and sing to Our Lady. I don't do this often.
So now we will begin our prayer. Once again, Facebook blocked me from sharing it. So if you're part of the Blessed Mother Mary group that my sister Teresa started, can you please share this? Because that's really who I come on for, but it's the only way to do it would be through you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen, O Jesus, in union with your most precious blood poured out on the cross and offered in every Mass, I offer you today my prayers, my works, my joys, my sorrows, and my sufferings. For the praise of your holy name, all the desires of your sacred heart, in reparation for sin, the conversion of sinners, the union of all Christians for all of the intentions of our hearts and for our final union with you in heaven. Amen. My queen and my mother, I give myself entirely to you and to show my devotion to you, I consecrate to you this day my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my entire self without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, as I am thy own, Keep me and guard me as thy property and possession. Amen. Oh, and we pray that prayer of Jabez. Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me and you would keep me from all evil, that I may not cause pain. Here at the beginning of the rosary, since it's Thursday, we're going to pray Therese of Lisieux's prayer for priests. O oh Jesus, I pray for your faithful and fervent priests, for your unfaithful and tepid priests, for your priests laboring at home or abroad in distant mission fields, for your tempted priests, your persecuted priests, your suffering, lonely, and desolate priests, your erroneous priests, your young priests, your faithful priests, and your dying priests, for the souls of the priests in purgatory, but above all, I recommend to you the priests who are dearest to me, those who baptize me, who absolve me from my sins, the priests at whose masses I assisted, who gave me your body, blood, and holy communion, those who taught and instructed me, those who are in my family, those who I'm friends with, and those who the Lord has entrusted to my prayer in a special way. We pray for all of the priests to whom I'm indebted in any way, especially, and now you name those priests. O oh, Jesus, keep them all close to your heart and bless them abundantly in time and eternity. O oh, Jesus, eternal priest, keep the priests within the shelter of your sacred heart where none may touch them. Keep unstained their anointed hands which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips, daily purpled with your precious blood. Keep pure and unearthly their hearts, sealed with the sublime mark of the priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruit, and may the souls to whom they minister be their joy and consolation, here and in heaven their beautiful and everlasting crown. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty, from thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For Pope Francis, the cardinals, archbishops, bishops, and the priests who work for them. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase of faith. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of love, charity, and conversion. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And today is the Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows, and we normally pray the Luminous Mysteries. And we see how Our Lady is honored in, as the Sorrowful Mother, and yet she's also the Queen of Heaven and Earth. You see here such a beautiful image of Our Lady of La Salette. We celebrate her on the 19th right? And when she appeared to the children in France, she was weeping. She was sorrowing. And she wore heavy chains with a crucifix around her. Thorns pierced her head. And yet, what we see are the beautiful roses and the glorious gold crown. When a mother suffers and offers it for their child, then great light goes out from them. So often, the instruments of peace for other people suffer themselves to offer that peace. And Our Lady is our, our grand example of that. So the first luminous mystery, the mystery of light, is the baptism of Jesus and the Jordan. And Our Lady's role in Jesus' life is somewhat highlighted in this because when Jesus came out of the water, a dove, the Holy Spirit came on his head. That's what happened to Our Lady in the Annunciation when she became the mother of the Redeemer. The Holy Spirit came upon her without anything visible. It was all hidden. It was mystical, right? That means hidden. And yet, when Jesus comes out of the water, that Holy Spirit that filled Our Lady's heart and womb to form his body was visible. And God the Father's voice came, said, this is my beloved son, my beloved son. And Our Lady was asked to be his mother. It's so beautiful. To be the mother of the Redeemer means to co-redeem with him, to suffer with. What mother doesn't suffer with their children? And not only did she suffer because Christ suffered, but she suffered because she was the mother of the redeemed, because of our waywardness and sin, because of our suffering. She's a good mother who has compassion. She suffers with us. And she's made our mother in a most particular way in our baptism. When we become children of God, part of the body of Christ, and she suffers as Our Lady of Sorrow so that God the Father can say about us, this is my beloved daughter, this is my beloved son, like he said about Jesus. In this mystery, let's pray that that suffering of other, Our Lady's heart may not be in vain, that we may live our baptismal graces, that we may become the saints God made each one of us to be. We ask Our Lady's intercession Holy Mary, pray for us. Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother most amiable, pray for us. Mother most admirable, pray for us. 
Mother of good counsel, pray for us. Mother of our creator, pray for us. Mother of our savior, pray for us. The baptism of Jesus in the Jordan. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse.
second luminous mystery is the wedding at Cana. And Our Lady is such a beautiful example to us at the wedding at Cana. Our Lady goes to Jesus and asks him to do a miracle. And he says, like, woman, which is what he calls her under the cross. It's calling her back to that identity as his helpmate, as the eternal high priest. And he says, woman, what is this between you and I? Like, do you know what you're asking? Do you know that if I begin my public ministry, it will lead to the cross? Look at that image of the little high priest, Jesus, who's become the Eucharist. You know, woman, look at this beautiful image of Mary as the mother of the Redeemer, the little Christ in the chalice. Here, I'll show you. Woman, do you know what you're asking? Are you willing to drink this cup with me? She says, yes. And that water that's turned to wine will later become the, his wine that is turned into his blood in the Eucharist. And our lady is courageous. She has bold faith. And she says, do whatever he tells you. She repeats that fiat, I want God's will. Our lady is always thinking about what's best for us. It wasn't best for her son to suffer and die. But together, as that new Adam and that new Eve, they thought about what was best for us, their children. How can we not have confidence in Our Lady who allowed seven swords to pierce her heart to become our mother, right? Normal women give birth um, in tra travail, right? In pain. Our Lady gave birth to us on the cross in great pain and anguish. In this mystery, I'd like for us to really present to Our Lady as that virgin mother, as that pure mother, full of divine love. All of our most intense intentions. I wanna offer that we have great um, confidence that she who loved us this much will continue to love us and will provide for us. What is it that you want for her to take to her son today? And when he looks at Our Lady presenting your intentions, covered in her tears, he'll say, wow, these are treasures. I cannot deny a prayer offered through the sorrowful heart of my mother, that immaculate and sorrowful heart of my so we list here in our hearts what is the most intense intentions that we have. And we ask Our Lady to give them to Jesus. And then when she says, do whatever he tells you, that we can hear his voice and do it. Virgin most prudent, pray for us. Virgin most venerable, pray for us. Virgin most renowned. Pray for us. Virgin most powerful, pray for us. Virgin most merciful, pray for us. Virgin most faithful, pray for us. Once again, Facebook won't allow me to share this with the Blessed Mother Mary group. So if you're part of that group, can you please share it? The wedding at Cana. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagadati Polnaya, Gaspod Staboyu, Blagoslavia Natimiesh de Jonami, I blagoslavien plecereva tvajevo Isus, Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Malisa nas grishni, Nini i včas smirti naši, Amen. Polish, Strovaš, Maria Waski, Pauna Pan s tabom, Bogoslavio nas timjens, Nevesami, 
i bogosławioni owoc żywota Twojego, Jezus. Święta Maria, Matka Boża, módl się za nami grzesznymi, teraz i w godzinę i śmierci naszej. Amen. Spanish, Dios te salve Maria, llena de este gracia el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne, e benedetto il frutto del tuo segno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Gesù. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, Ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Russian. Radiusia Maria Blagada ti polnaya, gaspod stabue. Blagaslavienna ti miejsta jomami. I blagaslavien plocereva tvaevo Isus. Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, malisa nas grešni, ni ni vča smerti naši. Amen. Polish. Strovas Maria, waski pauna panstabo, boga swavionish timians and avastami, e boga swavioni, ovo chivota tvaego Jesus, Shventa Maria, matka boja, moodle shiz and amig shishnimi, terasif gojina, e shmir gina, she amen, Spanish. Dios de salve Maria, yenares de grazia, el Senor is contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres. Y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor es conté. Tu se benedetta fra la donne, y benedetto el fruto del tu Señor, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, Prega per noi peccatori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, Sicurerat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, Help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. mystery that's a mystery of light right and this feast of our lady of sorrows is a proclamation of the kingdom of heaven the call to conversion and the healing miracles 
I'm drawn in this mystery to think of how beautifully Our Lady proclaimed the gospel, especially in the Magnificat, right? In the visitation, when she went to help um, Elizabeth to alleviate her pain, right? To be an instrument of healing while they were suffering because Zechariah was dumb. He couldn't speak. And what did she pray? She proclaimed the greatness of the Lord. She preached the gospel. She said, my soul, my soul. We're supposed to proclaim the gospel with our soul. Not just with some pretty words that we come up with in our minds. Not just with facts. But we're supposed to proclaim the Lord with our soul with the looks that we give to people, with the words that we speak or don't speak to people. Our Lady said, my soul magnifies the Lord, proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. In this mystery, I think about how many times Our Lady was the mother of sorrows when she witnessed her children proclaim themselves or use their words to put down another person. God wants all of us to be like St. Barnabas, the encourager. If our words don't give life to someone else, then we shouldn't speak them. So in this mystery, we pray for that, that Our souls may may proclaim the greatness of the Lord to everyone who we meet, who we write a letter or email to, my books, right? That we may always be proclaiming the greatness of the Lord. We pray that by our rejoicing in God, our Savior, others are called to repentance. Not because we shake our finger at them and tell them what they've done wrong but because they see us rejoicing in the Lord and it gives them a thirst. Let's pray that our words may be instruments of healing because Our Lady lived this mystery of Christ's mission most perfectly. So often children speak like their mom because they spend so much time with them. So in Christ's humanity, the words that he used to preach the way that he touched a child, the way even that he called people to repentance, he learned humanly from his mother's personality and mannerisms. It's really beautiful. We pray to do the same. Mirror of justice, pray for us. Seed of wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our joy, pray for us. Spiritual vessel, pray for us. Vessel of honor, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. The proclamation of the kingdom of heaven, the call to conversion, and the healing miracles. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. mystery of light on this Thursday is the transfiguration of Jesus on Mount Tabor. When a priest is ordained, he's transfigured in Christ. He's changed. And Our Lady is the mother of sorrows. And she suffered with Jesus, the eternal high priest. But that also means that she suffered as um, the mother of all priests. She suffers because of their sufferings. She suffers because of their unfaithfulness. I think about Our Lady during the Passion, her suffering over Judas. She loved Judas. And her suffering over Peter, who denied Christ. She had to have been an instrument of healing for him. When she was given to John, she was given to all of us. She was given to Peter. And somehow her motherly love had to have healed his unfaithfulness, his treachery. Because he was with her in the Senegal. He was with her at Pentecost. Even as the head of the church, he had the courage to go on and be a pope, even though he had been like Judas. But he repented. He repaired the wrong that he did. We're all called to repair the wrongs that we've done to people. If there's somebody that you hurt, apologize to them. 
If you twisted the truth, make the truth known. But Our Lady is the mother of priests, and so she's a mother of sorrow. Because as they were transfigured in Christ glorified, they're also transfigured with Christ crucified. It costs so much to be the mother of priests. It takes so much suffering to help them. That's why I wrote that book, In Our Lady's Shadow. If you don't have it, get it. It's the spirituality of praying for priests. That's all about Our Lady as the mother of the eternal high priest and the mother of all priests. We're called to be mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers, right? And children of priests. We're called to have those pure fam familial relationships with them, right? It's easier to forgive a son or a brother than it is to forgive a stranger, right? So we're called to love them like our own family, even if they've hurt you. In this mystery, I'd like to pray in reparation for priests and the sins that they've committed that have wounded the heart of Our Lady. And I would like to pray that Our Lady may call forth more people in this world to have her compassionate heart to commit an hour a week some people an hour a day to pray for a priest so that they may be beacons of holiness we pray for the hierarchy of the church especially those who are unfaithful we pray for the erroneous bishops and cardinals we pray for the protection of those under their rule we pray for unity in the church, but a unity that comes through the truth of Christ and his love that's only present in truth. We pray that the shadow of Our Lady's mercy that comes from her tears may wash over all priests. And we pray for new vocations we pray that Our Lady already be interceding for the men that she will call to be priests, even in their childhood, to preserve them from sin so they don't have that stain on their soul. We pray that our homes may be a shelter for priests. The Transfiguration of Jesus on Mount Tabor. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. We pray in particular, too, for the mother of priests. You know, when, when you're formed as a child, what happens as a child is really powerfully imprinted on your heart. And every priest was formed most profoundly in their childhood and adolescence by their mom. So let's pray that, that priests may have holy motherly figures in those years. Russian, Radusia Maria Blagarati Polnaya, Gaspod Staboyu, Blagoslavian, Natimiej Dejonami, I Blagoslavian Plecereva Tvajevo Isus, Svetaya Maria Mater Bosha Malisa Naskreshi, Nini Vcha Smirti Naši Amen Polish, Strovesh Maria Waski Pauna Panstabo, Bogoslavio Neštimian Zanevastami, I Bogoslavioni, Ovo Čevota Tvajego Jezu, Shvanta Maria Matka Bosha Mural Shizanami Kshishnami Terra Sivgojina Ishmir Jinashi Amen Spanish Dios de Salve Maria Yenares de Grazia Senores Contigo Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús Santa Maria Madre de Dios rega por nosotros pecadores Ahora y la hora de nuestra muerte. Amen. Italian. Ave Maria, piena de gracia, el Señor y conté. 
to say benedetta fra le donne e benedetto il frutto del tuo segno Gesù Santa Maria madre di Dio prega per noi peccatori adesso nell'ora della nostra morte amen letter Ave Maria grazia plena dominus tecum benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui Jesus Santa Maria mater Dei or pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostri. Amen. Russian, Radusia Maria Blagadati Polnea, Gaspot Staboy, Blagoslavia Natinia Stajonami, e Blagoslavia Plachereva, Tvaeva Isus, Svetaya Maria, Matir Boja Malisa Nas Grishni, Nini Vchas Mirtinashi, Amen. Polish, Strovash Maria Waski Pauna Pan Stabo, Bogoswaviona shtimians and evastami, e bogoswavioni, ova chevota tvayego jesus. Shventa Maria, mad kaboja, mural shizanami, shishnemi, teras if gojina, ishmir jina shi aman, Spanish. Dios de salve Maria, yenares de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres. I bendito il se frutto de vientre Jesus. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadori, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amen. Italian, Ave Maria, piena de gracia al Signore con te. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne y benedetto il frutto del tuo segno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre de Dio, prega per noi pecadori, Adesso, nell'ora della nostra muerte, amen. Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri, amen. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, Sicur erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession. The Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. of light on this feast of Our Lady of Sorrows is the institution of the Eucharist as a foreshadowing of the cross. Our Lady of Sorrows is Our Lady of the Eucharist. She's the mother of the Eucharist and I share with you once again these two icons I have. This one way back here, you see the Christ child and he's crowned with thorns and he's got the nails and the wounds, his blood coming from his head and from his hands. And he's within the chalice. He's filling the chalice with his blood, even as a little child. 
And we see here in this beautiful icon, Our Lady, the Mother of the Eucharist. She's the Mother of the Eucharistic Lord. To be the Mother of Eucharist means that you are the Mother of the Crucified. Imagine the wounds that she had to attend to of Jesus as a child. I mean, starting even in his circumcision, right? His rejection in Bethlehem, her flight into Egypt. So many sufferings to be the Eucharistic King. And every time we gather in front of the Eucharist or at a Mass, Our Lady is standing there at Calvary and she's interceding for us. In this mystery, we pray that Our Lady of Sorrows may help us to have a heart that adores that blood of Christ, his body, with more honor, with more dignity and reverence, with more love. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of Ivory, pray for us. House of Gold, pray for us. Ark of the Covenant, pray for us. Gate of heaven, pray for us. Morning star, pray for us. Health of the sick, pray for us. Refuge of sinners, pray for us. Solace of migrants, pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Those were for the last mystery. <laughs> and we pray to Our Lady, the Queen of the Eucharist, pray for us. Queen of the angels, pray for us. Queen of the patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of the prophets, pray for us. Queen of the Apostles, pray for us. Queen of Martyrs, pray for us. Queen of Confessors, pray for us. Queen of Priests, pray for us. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Queen of Saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of Families, pray for us. And Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us. The institution of the Eucharist as a foreshadowing of the cross. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Sorry. sweetness and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn that, O most gracious advocate, thy nights of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and the resurrection, has purchased for us rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that by meditating on the mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all of my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to you, the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name. Kiss his fine head for me. Ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. O Saint Joseph, terror of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and his minions. Protect us with thy mighty staff. You fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now with the power of God, smite the demons as they flee from thee. Grant special protection, we pray, for children and the unborn families and relationships, work and ministries, homes and possessions, persecuted Christians, priests and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while you're near. So we beg of you, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. St. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Seraphim and Cherubim, thrones and dominions, virtues, powers, principalities, archangels and guardian angels, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the divine power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Angels of God, our guardians dear, to whom God's love commits us here. Ever this day be at our side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. St. Patrick's Breastplate Prayer. I arise today through mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, 
through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through the strength of the love of the cherubim, in the obedience of the angels, the service of the archangels, the hope of resurrection to meet with reward, in the prayers of patriarchs, predictions of prophets, in the preaching of apostles and the faith of confessors, in the innocence of holy virgins and the deeds of righteous men. I arise today through the strength of heaven, the light of the sun, the radiance of the moon, the splendor of fire, the speed of lightning, the swiftness of wind, the depth of the sea, the stability of the earth and the firmness of rock. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me. God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me from the snares of the devil, from temptations of vices, from everyone who wishes me ill afar and near. I summon today all these powers between me and those evils against every cruel and merciless power that may oppose my body and soul, against incantations of false prophets and black laws of paganism, false laws of heretics and the craft of idolatry against spells of witches and smiths, wizards, saintness, and warlords, and against every knowledge that corrupts man's body and soul. Jesus Christ has shield me today against poison and burning, choking and suffocating, destruction and accidents, pestilence, infestation and plague, drowning and wounding, sickness and calumny, disobedience, disrespect, profanity, greed, fear and worry, misunderstanding, confusion, laziness, apathy, ignoring, jealousy and competition, blocking and division, rash or false judgment, vanity, selfishness, and pride against anger and lust, dishonesty and betrayal, denial, abandonment, rejection, indifference, and unfaithfulness, and against every evil that could come against me or those for whom I pray, so there may come to us instead an abundance of reward. Jesus Christ be with me, Jesus Christ before me, Jesus Christ behind me, Jesus Christ in me, Jesus Christ beneath me, Jesus Christ above me, Jesus Christ on my right, Jesus Christ on my left, Jesus Christ when I lie down, Jesus Christ when I sit down, Jesus Christ when I arise, Jesus Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Jesus Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me, Jesus Christ in every eye that sees me, Jesus Christ in every ear that hears me, I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, the belief, through belief in the threeness, the confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. Amen. We pray for those who have died. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and may your perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Eternal God, we offer to you the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus in union with the masses said throughout the world for all the holy souls in purgatory, sinners everywhere, those in the universal church, within our own home and within our own family, amen. And on this feast day of Our Lady of Sorrows, we renew our consecration to Our Lady and we'll use the formula made by St. Louis de Montfort and Maximilian Kolbe. O eternal and incarnate wisdom, sweetest and most adorable Jesus, true God and true man, only Son of the eternal Father and Mary, always virgin, I adore thee profoundly in the bosom and the splendors of thy Father during eternity, and I adore thee also in the virginal bosom of Mary, thy most worthy mother in the time of your incarnation. I give you thanks that you have annihilated yourself, taking the form of a slave, in order to rescue me from the cruel slavery of the devil. I praise and glorify you for that thou, you have been pleased to submit yourself to Mary, your holy mother in all things, in order to make me your faithful slave through her. But alas, ungrateful and faithless as I have been, I have not kept the promises which I made so solemnly to you in my baptism. 
I have not fulfilled my obligations, and I do not deserve to be called your child nor yet your slave. And as there is nothing in me which does not merit your anger and repulse, I dare not come by myself before your most holy and august majesty. It is on this account that I have recourse to the intercession of your most holy mother, whom you have given me for a mediatrix with you, and it is through her that I hope to obtain of you contrition, the pardon of my sins, and the acquisition and preservation of wisdom. Hail then, O Immaculate Mary, living tabernacle of the divinity, where the eternal wisdom will to be hidden and adored by angels and men. Hail, O Queen of heaven and earth, to whose empire everything is subject which is under God. Hail, O sure refuge of sinners, whose mercy fails no one. Hear the desires which I have of the divine wisdom, and for that end receive the vows and offerings which in my lowliness I present to you. I, and then say your name, Mary Elizabeth Ann Klaska, a faithless sinner, renew and ratify today in your hands the vows of my baptism. I renounce forever Satan and his pomps and works, and I give myself entirely to Jesus Christ, the incarnate wisdom, to carry my cross after him all the days of my life and to be more faithful to him than I've ever been before. In the presence of all the heavenly court, I choose you this day for my mother and my mistress. I deliver and consecrate to you as your slave, my body and soul, my goods both interior and exterior, and even the value of my good actions, past, present, and future, leaving to you the entire and full right of disposing of me and all that belongs to me without exception according to your good pleasure for the greater glory of God in time and in eternity. Receive, O benignite virgin, this little offering of my slavery in honor of and union with the subjection which the eternal wisdom deigned to have to your maternity. In homage to the, pow in homage to the power which both of you have over this poor sinner and in thanksgiving for the privileges which the Holy Trinity has favored you, I declare that I wish henceforth as thy true slave to seek your honor and to obey you in all things. O admirable mother, present me to your dear son as his eternal slave, so that as he has redeemed me by you, by you he may receive me. O mother of mercy, grant me the grace to obtain the true wisdom of God, and for the end receive me among those whom you love and teach, whom you lead, nourish, and protect as your children and slaves. O faithful virgin, make me in all things so perfect a disciple, imitator, and slave of the incarnate wisdom, Jesus Christ, your Son, that I may attain by your intercession and your example to the fullness of his age on earth and of his glory in heaven. Amen. O Immaculata, Queen of heaven and earth, refuge of sinners and our most loving mother, God has willed to entrust the entire order of mercy to you. I, an unworthy sinner, cast myself at your feet, humbly imploring you to take me with all that I am and have, holy to yourself as your possession and property. Please make of me and of all my powers of soul and body, of my whole life, death, and eternity, whatever pleases you. If it pleases you, use all that I am and have without reserve, holy to accomplish what has been said of you, she will crush your head and you alone have destroyed all heresies in the whole world. Let me be a fit instrument in your immaculate and most merciful hands for introducing and increasing your glory to the maximum in the many strayed and indifferent souls and thus help extend as far as possible the blessed kingdom of the most sacred heart of Jesus. For wherever you enter, you obtain the grace of conversion and sanctification, since it's through your hands that all graces come to us from the most sacred heart of Jesus. Allow me to praise you, O most holy virgin. Give me strength against your enemies. St. Louis de Montfort's Prayer to Mary. Hail Mary, beloved daughter of the Eternal Father. Hail Mary, an admirable mother of the Son. Hail Mary, faithful spouse of the Holy Spirit. 
Hail Mary, my dear mother, my loving mistress, my powerful sovereign. Hail my joy and glory, my heart and soul. You are all mine by mercy, and I am all yours by justice, but I am not yet sufficiently thine. I now give myself wholly to you without keeping anything back for myself or others. If you still see in me anything that does not belong to you, I beseech you to take it and make yourself the absolute mistress of all that's mine. Destroy in me all that may be displeasing to God, root it up and bring it to naught. Place and cultivate it in me, that it, in me everything that's pleasing to thee. May the light of thy faith dispel the darkness of my mind. May thy profound humility take the place of my pride. May thy sublime contemplation check the distractions of my wandering imagination. May thy continuous sight of God fill my memory with his presence. May the burning love of thy heart inflame the lukewarmness of mine. May thy virtues take the place of my sins. May thy merits be my only adornment in the sight of God and make up for all that is wanting in me. Finally, dearly beloved mother, grant if it be possible that I have no other spirit but thine to know Jesus and his divine will, no other soul but thine to praise and glorify the Lord that I may have no other heart but thine to love God with a love as pure and ardent as thine. I do not ask thee for visions, revelations, sensible devotions, or spiritual pleasures. It is thy privilege to see God clearly, and it is thy privilege to enjoy heavenly bliss. It is thy privilege to triumph gloriously in heaven at the right hand of thy Son, and to hold absolute sway over angels, men, and demons. It is thy privilege to dispose of all the gifts of God, just as you will. Such is, O Heavenly Mother, the better part, which the Lord has given to you and which shall never be taken away from you. This thought fills my heart with joy. As for my part here below, I wish for no other than that which was yours, to believe sincerely without spiritual pleasure, to suffer joyfully without human consolation, to die continually to myself without respite, to work zealously and unselfishly for you until death as the humblest of your servants. The only grace that I beg you to obtain for me is that every day and moment of my life I may say, amen, so be it to all that you do while on earth. Amen, so be it to all that you're doing in heaven. Amen, so be it to all that you're doing in my soul so that you alone may fully glorify Jesus in me for time and in eternity. Amen. And on this feast of Our Lady of Sorrows, we pray the Chaplet of Sorrows. Crucified Jesus, prostrate at your feet, we offer you the tears of the mother who with love full of devotion and sympathy accompanied you on your painful way to Calvary. Grant, O oh good Master, that we take to heart the lessons which the tears of your Most Holy Mother have taught to us, so that we may fulfill your holy will on earth and become worthy to praise and bless you in heaven for all eternity. The first sorrow of Our Lady's heart, the prophecy of Simeon. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. The second sorrow of Our Lady's heart, the flight into Egypt. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. 
sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. The third sorrow of Our Lady's heart is the losing of Jesus in the temple. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. The fourth star of Our Lady's heart, Jesus and Mary, meet on the way of Calvary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. The fifth sorrow of Our Lady's heart, Jesus dies on the cross. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. The sixth sorrow of Our Lady's heart, Jesus is taken down from the cross and leaned in her arms like the piano. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. The seventh sorrow of Our Lady's heart is Jesus is taken from her arms and laid in the tomb. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Jesus, behold the tears of the one who loved you most on earth and who loves you most ardently in heaven. Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of the tears of your most holy mother. Jesus, hear our prayer for the sake of the tears of your most holy mother. Jesus, hear our prayer for the sake of the tears of your most holy mother. Jesus, hear our prayer for the sake of the tears of your most holy mother. Jesus, hear our prayer for the sake of the tears of your most holy mother. Jesus, hear our prayer for the sake of the tears of your most holy mother. Jesus, hear our prayer for the sake of the tears of your most holy mother. Jesus, hear our prayer for the sake of the tears of your most holy mother. Jesus, hear our prayer for the sake of the tears of your most holy mother. Jesus, hear our prayer for the sake of the tears of your most holy mother. O Mary, mother of love, mother of sorrow, and mother of mercy, we beg you to join your prayers with ours so that Jesus, your divine son, to whom we turn, will graciously hear our petitions for the sake of your maternal tears. And together with the graces that we implore, grant us finally the reward of eternal life. With your tears, O sorrowful mother, destroy the dominion of Satan. Through your divine tenderness, O bound and fettered Jesus, defend the world from the errors which threaten it. Amen. And on Thursdays at the end, in honor of the Eucharist, we pray Padre Pio's prayer after Holy Communion, and we ask Jesus in the Eucharist to stay with us. Stay with me, Lord, for without thy presence I forget thee. Thou knowest how easily I abandon thee. Stay with me, Lord, for without thy strength I fall. Thou knowest how weak I am. Stay with me, Lord, for without thee my fervor fails. Thou art my life. Stay with me, Lord, for without thee I'm in darkness. Thou art my light. Stay with me, Lord, and show me thy will. Stay with me, Lord, and let me hear thy voice. Stay with me, Lord, that I may follow thee. Stay with me, Lord, that I may love thee more. Stay with me, Lord, that I may stay with thee. If thou would have me be faithful, please stay with me, Lord. Stay with me, Jesus, for though my soul is poor, it desires to be an abode of love for you and a place of consolation. Stay with me, Jesus, for it's getting late. The day is ending, life is passing. Death, judgment, and eternity are coming soon. Now I must muster all of my forces so I do not faint on the road. I have great need for you on this journey. It's getting late and death is approaching. Darkness, temptations, dryness, crosses, and troubles beset me. Oh, how much I need you, my good Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me, Jesus, because this night of life is so full of danger, and I have such a need of you. Grant that, like thy disciples, I may recognize you in the breaking of the bread. Grant that the Eucharistic union might be the light which casts out darkness and the force to sustain me, the one means to sanctify my soul. Stay with me, Lord, because when death arrives, if I cannot be really with thee in Holy Communion, then I shall wish to remain united with you at least through grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask you for divine consolation because I deserve it, but I beg of you with all my strength for the gift of your most holy presence. Stay with me, Lord, you alone I seek. Your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit. For I love you and you alone I love. Let me seek no other reward but the increase of that love, that my love may be real and firm and practical. I ask no more than to love you with all of my heart on earth 
and to follow you with an all-perfected love for all eternity. Amen. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. Sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful heart of Our Lady, pray for us. Our Lady of Good Remedy, pray for us. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. All of you angels, pray for us. All of you martyrs, pray for us. All of you saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. So thank you for praying with me today, and especially we continue to remember to pray for priests today because Our Lady is the Mother of Sorrows, is the Mother of all priests. God bless you.